Police in Zimbabwe have blocked striking public sector workers from reaching government offices in Harare. Government employees have walked off their jobs to demand salaries pegged to the dollar as the country struggles with hyperinflation. Workers say the decline of the Zimbabwe dollar over the past year has slashed their incomes. The government is already dealing with a doctor's strike, also over pay. At least 77 hospital employees were fired on Tuesday for refusing to work their shifts. The sackings caused other doctors to join the strike. First it was the medical doctors who have now clocked 66 days away from work, demanding to be paid in US dollars or the equivalent of that currency. Government reacted by firing some of them and this gathering here is in solidarity with their colleagues. Not far away from here, another gathering of equally disgruntled civil servants. Let's get there and see what is happening. Same story, a cry for better remuneration. Now joining me is Mr. Richard Gundani, who's one of the spokespersons for the civil servants in Zimbabwe. Mr. Gundani, please tell us how poorly is the Zimbabwean civil servant remunerated vis-a-vis -vis your expectations and how sincere has government been in these negotiations? It's a sorry state. It's a very sad situation that we find that the civil servant in Zimbabwe lives in abject poverty. We are in a dire situation where the civil servant, where the teacher in Zimbabwe is unable to go to work. In the past 12 months alone, the salary of a civil servant has dropped from 500 US dollars to 35 US dollars. And our call and demand to government is very clear. Get us back to the salaries of October 2018 when the lowest paid civil servant was around 500 United States dollars. Those are the concerns of the civil servants in Zimbabwe. However, on the other side of things, government maintains that they do not have the capacity, they do not have the foreign currency to pay the civil servants. They argue that they've got so much on their plate. It's a catch-22 situation in which the government of Zimbabwe finds itself in. John Yashanu, TRT World, Harare. And for more on this, Derek Matashak joins us now from Harare. He's senior researcher at the Institute for Security Studies. Welcome back to the program, Derek. Can we just look at the root problem of these protests, the root cause that sparked these strikes, and that's the inflation situation in Zimbabwe. The International Monetary Fund says inflation is hitting around 300%. What's behind the, this problem? At the root of the problem really is uh, government debt, excessive government spending uh, over the last four or five years. Uh, government racked up massive budget deficits and they financed those deficits by increasing the broad money supply. And they've continued to do that despite undertakings by the Minister of Finance to engage in uh, fiscal consolidation and to curb the money supply. So those two um, objectives are really incompatible. Government is desperately, and the Minister of Finance is desperately trying to make sure there is no budget deficit this year. That means keeping civil servants' salaries down. The moment they increase civil servant salaries and try to meet these civil servants' demands, that means they have to create more money, expand the money supply, uh, to meet those demands, and that means more inflation, and it basically means that civil servant salaries will decline further and they'll be back to square one. So mm. it's, a, it's a very difficult position that government finds itself in. Now, among some of the demands among the workers who are striking is uh, being paid in US dollars. We know Zimbabwe has recently returned to its own currency. How big of an issue is that, the fact that US dollars uh, aren't, I guess, what's being paid to them? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually at the core of Zimbabwe's economic uh, problems. Because of the declining value of the local currency, a lot of people effectively try to preserve value by setting prices in US dollars. So the workers then want to be paid in US dollars because the prices increase uh, in accordance with the declining value of the Zimbabwe dollar against the US dollar. 
uh, government is trying to swim against the tide. The reintroduction of the local currency is probably going to be futile. The economy is slowly but steadily re-dollarizing, uh, regardless of government policy. Okay, Derek Matashak, we'll have to leave it there, but thank you as always for your analysis.